Hello YouTube, this is Hemingway1893 saying, if you think a bit brace is something you get when you have a bad knee, do not watch this video. In fact, never watch a video on my channel ever again. Anyway, well, uh, when I'm making this, it is, pardon that, it is back to school time, meaning it's college packing time. And since I'm kind of a music buff, I gotta get my stereo system, which for most kids consists of a phone and a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, said most kids. Anyway, uh, I have an issue here with my turntable. Uh, you'll notice I have this receiver um, and what I basically want to do is on top of the dresser, just put the receiver and then put the turntable on top of it. My problem is the receiver is only about 11 inches uh, wide, and the turntable's feet are 12 inches wide. What am I to do? Well, I thought the best solution would be to build almost a little tabletop. I've dubbed it a spacer, call it whatever you want, that would sit on top of the receiver and that the turntable could sit on. So that is what I am going to do today. And uh, by the way, I do have the cover, so no, it was not missing. It is cracked though, but I, I know you can get replacements for these, so I'm not too concerned. Just FYI, if you were wondering. Anyway, let's get started. So here I am uh, continuing out in the garage. I have uh, these three boards right here that I'm gonna use to make the spacer. Uh, these are oak, or I'm not entirely sure, but they're at least good hardwood. Um, and I chose this because I'm planning to actually stain this um, instead of paint it now. If you had a more modern system, you know, you might be able to get away with using cheaper wood if you're going to just paint it black or silver to match. But considering I have an older system, I kind of wanted the spacer to match the, uh, you know, fake wood on the uh, vintage Marantz. So these, um, basically what I'm just going to do is, if you've ever built a tabletop or a cutting board, it's the same thing. Uh, tight bond too. This is really good stuff. Says uh, stronger than wood, and that is true. A lot of these glues are stronger than wood. And essentially, I'm just gonna obviously put glue on the edge and uh, clamp them together with this uh, workmate table. Um, a side note: these were jointed at a separate facility because um, I don't have a joiner. I wish I did, but they were jointed at a separate facility, so these edges are smooth. Um, smooth edges aren't exactly a priority because this is just going in a dorm room. Um, but if you want to be, you know, that meticulous, you most certainly could. Otherwise, as long as they're relatively smooth, the glue will stick. It is uh, currently a little later in the day because I had to glue three of these boards together. You can see the uh, joints right there. I have scraped the excess glue off and uh, I found out this table kind of annoys me because it's like lefty tighty righty loosey to open and close it, which is really odd. They kept throwing me off. Anyway, now uh, what I have to do is I have to cross cut it because you can see that's obviously very uneven. And this starts to bow out right about here. And I do not have a uh, table saw available to me. So I'm just going to use a regular circular saw. In order to do that, I have to build this straight edge, which will make the cut go straight. I've already measured it for the blade. I'm just gonna to try to sh start shaving that right there, make that all straight. I'm going to use my vintage uh, Stanley Handyman combination square to verify that it is indeed straight, which it should be because I've already measured it. 
Yes. Then I'm just going to use uh, my array of C-clamps to clamp it down. I'm thinking I'm probably going to put a uh, another block of wood underneath just to act as a... Uh, yeah, actually, it's not really because it'll clamp to the underside of the table. Anyway, I got this vintage uh, Brink and Cotton clamp right here. That's good. This one from the Cincinnati Tool Company. I always like seeing... Uh, you know, these smaller tool companies. It's always really cool. Then I have this one. I got it at a thrift store for 90 cents. I don't know who made it, but it looks really old. If anyone has any information about it, please tell me in the comments. Um, all right. Guess I'll have to get to work doing that. A quick update. This is how it looks after cross cutting it. I know that's not the straightest thing in the world but dorm furniture anyway uh clearly labeled which one is the bottom because it has you know as you can see the inferior grain although on these other two it really doesn't seem to matter anyway uh now to sand it smooth and uh get ready to apply uh you know either paint or stain in my case, as stated earlier, I am going to stain it. So stay tuned. So because it was quite humid today, I uh, let the uh, wood sit inside in the air conditioning for about two hours after everything was sanded down and that, wiped it clean. Now it's time to move on to uh, staining, staining it. My uh, stain of choice is this Minwax Red Mahogany, just to try to match the uh, turntable. I used the scrap piece that I cut off earlier as a guinea pig, and I think it looks good. So just using an old rag, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my spacer. All right, so this is what it looks like all uh stained pretty good pretty good uh bottoms unfinished but um this is college dorm i don't really care no one's gonna see the bottom anyway just to create a uh, non-slip grip so you know that expensive turntable won't fall off i got some old pieces of bicycle inner tube here i'm just uh cutting little squares to glue onto the bottom they don't have to be perfect you can see i rinsed them off I gotta set them out to dry. Um, uh, one quick note that you can do if you so wish is you notice a lot of those like receivers and just electronics in general have vents on, on them. Mine has it on the top. What I might do is take a Dremel tool and put a bunch of grooves down it over where the vents would be just so it gets some airflow. Because I mean this thing is gonna extend over the front about that much and over the back about the same length. So at least you can get some airflow. You don't even have to do it all the way to the edge. Just do it up to like there, you know, put a couple across. Just for airflow, that's one thing you could do. All right. When uh, next, thanks to the wonders of video editing, let's see how it looks in place. Here it is installed. looks good maybe not the most perfect stain job but then again college dorm so all right it works